welcome. You're joining us here at IBM Tech Exchange. I'm your host, Stephen Dickens. This is another 6.5 Media Show, and I'm joined by Todd and Bargoff from Falcon Store and IBM. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thanks for having us. So, tell us a little bit about Falcon Store and what you do for the company. You're the you're the boss, but tell us what you do. Yeah, well, I'm not the important person, but the Falcon Store is a company we've been around for now 24 years. And you know we've had the privilege of having a partnership with IBM for about 20 of those years, off and on different kinds of partnerships along the way. Um, so you know we've been able to really um, evolve our software over time to work very well with, with IBM gear and with IBM products. Um, so we'll come back to the partnership because yeah. I think that's crucial. Bongov, just maybe position your role and then we'll dive straight in. Yeah, yeah. So I. I uh, have the pleasure of leading product management responsibility. I have product management responsibility for our power core platforms, modernization, and AI. So let's go back to you, Todd. We were starting to talk about it there. The partnership. Yep. I think that twenty-four history, twenty-four year history is crucial. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more, and then I'll come to you, Bob. But tell me a little bit more what that means on the day to day, and how that manifests itself for the clients. Yeah. So. When someone, when I try to give our Falcon Store elevator pitch to somebody, I always start off by saying, we are all in on IBM. Now what that means from our perspective is that we think about the world from an IBM power customer perspective. And that's your lens almost. You're that's the way we look at broader it. Broader than that, you're thinking, that's right. power customer, what do they need, translate that into the Falcon and then, Store product. Even more defined than that is, how do we help a power customer protect their data that is on power wherever they choose to run their power workload? So it could be on-prem, right? I mean, hundreds of thousands of people run power on-prem, or in the cloud, it could be in Power VS, or it could be with one of our 20-some-odd MSPs that offer a power-based managed service. We want the customer to be able to experience the same data protection wherever they run their, their power. And then, obviously, for that data protection to be world-class. Right. And I mean, Bob, we've been talking about it today. We've yep. recorded another video. Check that out, by the way. But we've been recording another video. I think Todd makes a great point about some of that optionality. Yep. We talked about it as core to what you guys are doing. You've got Power VS. You've got sovereign versions where you can run that on private. You've also got the traditional business. How's that kind of playing out in the market? What are you hearing from clients? Yeah. And before I answer, just one thing on on the partnership here. The way I would describe it, Stephen, from our last video is clients are asking for the same thing, growth saving compliance. The combination of Falcon Store and IBM Power specifically, there's so much optionality because what Todd just talked about is the data protection, the compliance bit. There's also such a huge bit on savings in terms of their due dupe capabilities with power. That's crucial. And with AI that we'll get to, there's a growth angle there. So that's, that's on that piece. The partnership, I think, has such optionality because the value prop we can deliver has fundamental optionality within it. Yeah. So now, what your question? I forgot. <laughs> well, so yeah, we. T I mean, we talk. You, you mentioned it briefly, and I'm going to come to it. It was one of the questions. This data resilience. We're seeing Dora in Europe. Right. We're seeing that start to come through. We're seeing Sovereign Cloud. That's something I'm tracking in the yeah. market. We're seeing that from hyperscalers. We're seeing that from a lot of the server vendors. What's that starting to manifest? in those customer requirements. You chat to customers a lot. What are you seeing as some of those key dynamics? No, it's a big deal. Dynamics? No, it's a very big deal because you know, the hybrid cloud has opened up a whole new set of, of regulations, yep. needs, right? Things that need to be complied with. And you take a, a standard on-prem customer and they may be running you know, IBM I take on-prem, right? But maybe they have to comply with Dora. So one of the key Dora things says you have to have an off-site copy. So you're either going to immutable copy of that. He's got to be immutable. So you've got a couple choices, right? You can go spin up another data center, make that capital investment, and for your for these backup copies, or you can take advantage of a cloud vendor. Yeah. And so Power VS is there, right? And in Europe, for example, you got Madrid, you got um, Frankfurt, and you got UK, and so they can, you know, a customer can just use take advantage of those immediately. And since our technology is the same whether it runs on-prem or in the cloud, as is power and all the IBM stuff, it's easy. It's I easy to do that. I think the key takeaway. You've got an end-to-end -end story, whether it's right. virtual machine, whether it's private, or whether it's- And, and frictionless across the hybrid cloud, yep. too. There's no yep. differences That's there. Right. And I no. think putting a horizontal layer, something like Falcon Store across that, 
brings that functionality. You force, you're not forcing the customer to make a choice. We right. talked about it in one of the other videos, the demos in the console being able yep. to just pick a location and then being able to snap in that data recovery Correct. and backup piece and just have that seamless. It's clicking that easy button for clients. And yep. the other way I would say it is it's thoughtful workload placement that's driven by business outcome and not driven by, oh, I have backup protection here, but I don't have it here. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. It's about thoughtful workload business placement. can decide that's where right. it wants to put the And we take care of the hard work underneath the covers. And, and you guys aren't forcing them to make a technical decision. That's right. They're able to make a business issues, and that's crucial. Even their backup solution. So let's say that they've been using Pick One Veeam, right, for 10 years. When it, when it comes to taking advantage of of Power VS or Power and Falcon Store, you don't have to change that. You know, Falcon Store is a backup target, not backup solution. Yeah. So Veeam can write to us, or Spectrum Protect can write. Doesn't matter, right? We take it. We take the data from the backup. We dedupe it, as Vargo mentioned. We're the best in the world at deduping. The average IBMI client right now has a 39 to one. Deduping. 39 to one. That's the average. Jeez. Now we quote. When we, when we size a, an offering, we always quote 20 to one. But in real life, the average is 39 to one. And how does that manifest itself for, on like dollars and cents? That's, I mean, that's a consolidation ratio. Yeah. What does that mean for customers kind of at the bottom line? What do you So see? let's take a standard IBMI customer. And let's say they're backing up 50 terabytes of raw data. If they're just using BRMS trying to do that in PowerVS and paying to store that data, They'll save 80% by using StoreSafe because of our dedupe, even after paying for StoreSafe, and even after paying for the, the Power VS infrastructure, you need to run it. So save 80% just in storage costs alone. That's I mean, talk about, storage talk about an easy button. Yeah, that, I mean, it's not only an easy button from the technical implementation, right. that's an easy button from a TCO perspective. Yeah. So, Bogovus, you talk to customers about that. Obviously, you're taking the product management lens from a power perspective. How's that kind of, that collaboration making it easier for your business? I mean, look, this comes down to if customers want growth savings compliance from an offering perspective, the way we're building this out is really, you know, driving that frictionless power hybrid cloud thought and having Falcon Store along for the ride, both from an offering perspective, but now also commercially and go to market. There's a lot of synergy there across those three dimensions, right? Where it's the same story, offering, value prop, commercial, go to market, um, just extreme yep. alignment all around growth savings and compliance. So guys, it's 2024. Yep. I don't know how long into the show Almost we are. Almost 2025. Yeah, but we've been going for a few minutes here, <laughs> yeah. and I've not asked the AI question. Oh. It, it, it'd just be rude if I didn't, right? So, tell me a little bit about how Falcon Store's using AI. Todd, we'll go to you first and then talk a little sure. bit about how that snaps into the wider strategy, but go to you first. Yeah, so I, if, in, in the spirit of full transparency, when we went to Think back in May in Boston, yeah. I went into Think with the opinion that, yeah, we need to, you know, we need to get on this, the, the train, but you know, maybe not tomorrow. We left Think with an idea that, oh my God, we have got to get on the train like tomorrow. Yeah. And we immediately went back, we spun up a Watson Next team internally, and we, we gave them a, a, a challenge. They're like, look, let's start with something we know, right? Let's, let's, let's learn this Watson X tool. Let's learn what it can do for us, but let's learn in a, in a use case that is near and dear to our heart, and that is how do we give guidance to power customers on how to improve their data protection? And so we created Thomas. These are, these are AI-based, uh, Watson X-based, Virtual assistant. I mean, what a great first name. How did you come up with I that? I don't know. Who, We're pretty somebody in product management did a good I job. I know, there. Vicky did that. Oh, and, and, I'll, I'll, I'll congratulate yeah, you on that original absolutely. name. So, so we started there. Yep. And now, you know, it didn't take long to where we're like, oh my gosh, here's what we could do with, I mean, typically with a, with a uh, virtual assistant, you train them up with static data, right? You, you say, go scrape that website, here's a document, memorize it, blah, blah, blah. Well, what we're going to add to it now is our connectors into databases. So like a connector into an IBM IDB2, or a connector into an SAP HANA database, or connector into archive data we're already managing for the customer with our solution. So in the future, you could ask the question not just, hey, how do I better protect my data? But you could turn it into an internal BI solution 
or like maybe a sales manager at one of at a company could say, hey, um, I want to see sales in all of my stores for this SKU and July of 24 versus July of 23, put it in a chart for me, go. Comes back, says, here's your chart, you want me to email it to you? And it, that's where I'm going to see the AI go. We, we hear about the, all the fantastic consumer use yeah. cases, yeah. but it's that enterprise data that's yeah. going to be crucial. Yeah. That's the next evolution of this. Yeah. So we start to see it move to deployment. How yeah. does that Falcon Store story yeah. snap into where you're going I mean, from a power perspective? Extremely consistent because at the end of the day, this is about di enterprise data ready readiness, is what you mm -hmm. more or less what you just said. And enterprise data readiness only comes when you combine and stitch the power and Falcon Store story together. Mm -hmm. Because you're looking at production, you're looking at production data here, you're looking at backup, archival, you know, and all that other data. And the combination of those two things is really what's going to unlock uh, enterprise specific use cases that are differentiated. So, yep. so we've got to start wrapping up. We could talk about this for hours. There's some yeah. great collaboration and innovation going. Todd, go to you first. Ball this down to one key takeaway. Right. Tough, toughest question I'm going to ask you all day. What's the one key takeaway that the listeners and viewers here can take away that really would capture the collaboration? Well, I think from our perspective, is it goes back to us being all in and IBM, right? We could be try to be all things to all people, but we would probably fail, mm -hmm. right? Because we're just not big enough. But we can be all in on IBM, and we can then put all of our resources toward providing what we do, and that's data protection. We don't do a lot of other things, but we do data protection, we do it very well. And so, you know, the more that we can continue to go all in on that and invest along that channel, the better off we'll be. And same question to you, Bongo. Uh, just, it's the alignment, Steve, right? So it's the alignment around, around that North Star, if you will, or that value prop, and bringing that to life, both from an offering, sales, and overall execution perspective, and that's what's driven the success today. Well guys, that's come through the collaboration and joint innovation that you guys are driving, Power and Falcon Store. Yeah. You've been watching another episode of The Six Five. We're coming to you live from Tech Exchange. Fantastic conversation here with the guys. Lots more content from us to check out. Please click and subscribe and do all those things, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.